National health organizations are promising treatment services never before seen in Evansville. Agencies are unveiling specific plans on how to spend $10 million the Evansville City Council approved earlier this week. Uh, that money comes from the American Rescue Plan Act. Eyewitness News Cody Bailey has more on the future of mental health services in our area. Easter Seals, United Caring Services, and Southwestern Behavioral Health Care coming together to remove gaps in mental health treatment options in the Evansville area. I'm hoping that there isn't any barriers. I'm hoping that they don't try to get help and there's a no, sorry, we don't have that service, or no, sorry, we don't have a bed. Through a process known as diversion care, UCS will navigate individuals from what they call ineffective systems toward the help they need, something that Jason Emerson says will alleviate the stress on mental health workers. Every person kind of deserves that opportunity, uh, whether it's the first ask or the tenth ask. Um, we can't let them down because we're tired. Of the $10 million in funding for Southwestern Behavioral Health Care, $6 million of that will go towards upgrading the facility here at Mulberry Plaza in an effort to expand mental health services. That money is going to renovate this exterior and interior of the building. This is where that residential unit will be. Um, and our crisis center is also here, which is real handy because it will be a nice transition for people that, that go back and forth. Once that's up and running, we will work to expand our services and provide the therapy supports that are needed for the neural developmental clinic. The role of Easter Seals will be to provide therapy options at Mulberry Plaza, as well as doctoral internship training programs for students at a new youth treatment facility created by the remaining $4 million. The concept of the American Rescue Plan funds were centered around COVID relief, but Adams argues that prior to the pandemic, mental health was pushed aside. So what's unique about this time is that COVID, the pandemic has really shed light on mental health and it's a topic that's in the news that Congress is funding, which has never happened in our industry. And so this is our opportunity to um, you know, build these programs to fill the gaps that have always existed. In Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.